Hello, Tom Berry Phantom here. So it's currently the 12th of February. Um, as you can clearly see, there's a maintenance currently going. It's about to finish because it's about to hit six, but I don't know if it's going to be today. Um, six, Let's see what happens. The news I'm talking about. Fantastic. What's, what's funny is that about two minutes ago, I looked at the fucking store to see if there was an update, and there wasn't. And of course, now you give it to me. Oh, how technology fails. And I will continue saying that for the rest of my life. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just double-checking if there might be news today. I feel like it's probably going to be tomorrow. But, um, just see what happens. Well, there's info. Well, there's a download. I mean, but I think that's probably just all of the the changes to the game and whatnot. Some updates. I know that the uh, resurrection trials have gotten easier, which I never had a problem with. I mean, some characters took a while to get it done, but I never really had a problem with that. Can hardly read it, and yes, I see uh, some. I see the next batch of some. What? What is this, Caleb? Why is the text so fucking small? So there is information. Don't know if you can read it, but it says can't fear your own world summons. So can't fear your own world is mid month, is it? Oh. That's not what I was expecting. What the hell is this? Why is the text so small? Why is the text so small? Give me a second. Yeah, and yes, I haven't even logged in today because I forgot to this morning. Or, well, not forgot, but just can't be fucked to be honest. Yes, happy birthday, you cheer. Can I uh, get to the menu game? Jesus. Okay, anyway, I didn't see any options for text, so I don't know why the text is so damn small. Why is it so fucking small, Caleb? Anyway, I guess I shouldn't worry about it and um, look at this. To be honest, I'm really not impressed with this at all. I'm really not impressed with this at all. This is supposed to be light novel, is it? Nelly L. Kiske and Halle Bell. Not... Not... I'm... There's, there's nothing. There's zero fucking hype from me for this. D despite Hully Bell being my favourite Esparta, I mean, how many times have we constantly seen fucking seasonal versions of her, and there's just another new standard version? Uh, no, ugh, I don't know, we'll, we'll guess we'll read the stats, but, I mean, I don't know, Kisuke, Kisuke is mixed for me, at the start of, at the start of this game, Kisuke was neutral, I mean, Kisuke is still neutral, but, I don't know, I just feel like Kisuke in this game has been in one of those fucking annoying characters. Neliel is neutral, Halibel is neutral, all three are I suppose neutral, so... Jeez, I'm gonna actually have to pick up the fucking thing here and read it because the, the text is so damn small, so... Kisuke Uehara splitting the sky with five dragons. Okay, that actually sounds interesting. Uh, the gentle predator Neliel to Odell Shawank. I don't know how that's pronounced, but that's one weird ass long name. Tia Halibel determined to bring about peace. Okay. God, the text is so small. Okay. Kisuke Urahara splitting the sky with five dragons. Kisuke, ugh. Well, melee strong attack damage character. Well, there goes that. And no affiliation. Uh, Frenzy, 
Third strong attack is a charged. Ugh! Definite pass. Uh, strong attack cooldown of 14%. Okay. Small chance to instant kill. Freeze immunity. Okay. He just definitely does not sound like a character up my aisle at all. Um. God, this K Lab, please, can you just. If, if there's anybody that works at K Lab that is watching this, the text, what have you done? Seriously. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, so we speed. Uh, stamina, 1094. Attack, 627. Defense, 354. Focus, 353. Spiritual pressure, 794. So spiritual pressure is good, obviously. Killer is bad. I mean, the killer is. I mean, the killer is. The killer is neutral because when you look at no affiliation killer, it's definitely better than uh, Captain Asparta or Human. That's for sure. Um, but I still feel like no affiliation. No affiliation is like in between all of the killers, um, which the best killers you want on a character are Hollow, Arunka, and Soul Reaper. So and no no affiliations in the middle. Um, so it's it's a meh special. Uh, oh, he uses Hado 99 as well. Oh, an alternate version. Okay, I'm, well, I'm curious to see the special animation then. So, it, so it's a mince damage and it's instant kill. So it's going to do big damage, um, but it has no debuff on it, like a burn or freeze or whatnot. But it does have a chance to instant kill, so I guess it's okay. Uh, Soul Trade is good, 14%. Uh, Bruiser 40, Berserker 40, Frenzy, Devastation 60, Sprinter plus 1, Fre Freeze Duration 100%. And that's it. Yeah, he... There's not really a lot going on for him there, to be honest. At least from my perspective, he doesn't... Like, every, I mean, the spiritual pressure is good, the special's okay, the killer could be better, soul trade is definitely good. None of the skills really are eye-popping to me. Um, but um, I guess we'll see the gameplay, but I, as I read bef as I read the description here and the stats it's definitely not my type of character uh the gentle gentle predator nelio nelio range of strong attack damage character with soul reaper uh frenzy guard break poison immunity paralysis immunity okay okay i was gonna say speed it's power okay power um power range strong attack damage characters uh, Aizen? Uh, who else? Shit, I can't think of any. <laughs> uh, stamina, 1088. Attack, 634. Defense, 361. Focus, 353. Spiritual pressure, 786. I mean, it's good. I just wish it was... These days, when I look at spiritual pressure characters, I want at least 790 plus. <laughs> yes, I'm greedy. Uh, same with um, normal attack damage characters. Killer, sorry, but it's good. Special is... Special is garbage, um, it's straight damage, but being a strong attack spiritual pressure character, it's going to do decent damage, but it doesn't have any debuff on it whatsoever. Uh, soul trade is good, 12, bruiser 40%, berserker 40%, frenzy, devastation 60, sprinter, guard break, poison duration 100%. She, eh, she sounds okay, doesn't sound like a character I desperately need. And, uh... Halibal, determined to bring about the peace. Ranged strong attack character with hollow. Frenzy guard break. Poison and freeze immunity. Okay. Mmm. And you are... I'm gonna say, for some strange reason, I'm gonna say tech. Oh, okay, so that is a very good link for Cacao Society Siphon. How many times have I said that in videos now? <laughs> Uh, stamina 1092, attack 630, defense 356, focus 352, spiritual pressure, there we go, 790, so that's good. Killer is hollow, and that's good. Once again, uh, immense damage, straight damage, which is eh. Um, but you also got to understand that she does have plus 60 devastation. I think that's special move damage up, I can't remember. My memory in this game is failing. Um, Soul Trade is good, strong attack recharge time, 12%, so that all three characters have recharge time, which I'm not complaining about, because that's the right, uh, 
it's the right soul trait for these types of characters. Um, not something like fucking damage taken. Uh, Bruiser, 40%. Berserker, 40%. Frenzy, Devastation, plus 60 uh, percent. Sprinter, plus one. Guard Break. Freeze Duration. Poison Duration, 100%. Both of them. K-Lab. K-Lab, listen the fuck up. How many times have I told you, fuck this past Yoroichi off? Fuck it off. I'm sick and tired of seeing this Yoroichi. Not that I'm going to summon on it anyway, because all three characters don't sound interest me, interesting to me whatsoever. And even if I do see the gameplay, I feel like... Regardless, yeah, if, regardless of me seeing the gameplay, I feel like I don't have any need for any of these three characters. In fact, this summon selection to me seems like a bit of a fucking disappointment for Light Novel. Um, apparently it's Light Novel. It says round five... Did it? I think it said it on the other page that this was round five or something. Um, I still don't know if I have that Shinji or not. I definitely don't have that Jashiro. Wow. So yeah. Well, yeah, I'm definitely not summoning on this regardless of the gameplay. I'm not saying these characters are bad. I just feel like these characters are definitely... I mean, yeah, I'm into ranged characters, but... I don't need Hullybell because I have Cacao Society Soyphon, which also brings m brings that thing to my attention that back when I chose, I can't remember if it was the guaranteed five star golden edition ticket where it had a bunch of characters in it. Somebody said, "Why would you choose uh, Hachigen over Koga, being Koga the best mind character in the game?" It's as simple as, I already have Cacao Society Soyphon. Why would I need Koga? Koga would be nothing more than a link for my Cacao Society Soyphon. It's simple as that. I choose characters that I need. And at that time, I felt like Hachigen was probably a good choice. I don't care if Koga was the better choice. Why would I need Koga when I have Cacao Society Soyphon, when she can easily get the job done in most things? But, um, but yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm not feeling these characters at all. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say, like, I have to see gameplay, but I, as I said to you before, despite me seeing gameplay of these characters, I definitely feel like this is a fucking easy pass, um, but yeah, I'm just wondering why the text is so small, Caleb. Is this like on every other screen as well? Sure hope not. Leader. No, that seems normal. we have more team slots. Ooh, 10. Regardless of them giving us 10 team slots, we still don't have an option to fucking name the fucking teams. Jesus Christ, Caleb. You want to get on that? <laughs> it's all good. Um, yeah, I guess that's the... Well, it's not the video because I'm going to see the gameplay. It said it on the 16th, didn't it? Yeah, see, fifth round of Can't Fear Your Own. This is, out of all of the light novel selections so far, this is by far the fucking worst, obviously. Um, but, um, what is it? The 16th. So, the 15th. What day is that? Jesus, it's fucking hot in this room. 15th, so a Saturday, huh? Yes, I could watch the K-Lab live streams and watch the gameplay there, but I can't give a fuck about the stupid live streams anymore. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, uh, see you in the, uh, gameplay portion of the part, which will be on the 15th of February, so, see you in a few seconds. <laughs> Alright, it's the 15th of February, the trailers for the three characters have dropped. My expectations are quite low, I'm really just, for some strange reason, just don't give a fuck, to be honest, but... Let's have a look anyway. So first up we got Halle Bell. Uh, 
Shut up. Sorry for the uh, crappy quality. That was bad, but um, I'm just going to move straight on to the next one. Nalio. Ass shot. Next. だし惜しみはなしです。だし惜しみはなしです。やれることは片っ端からやってきましょう。波動の九十九五流天滅。五分。五分。五分。五分。Well, first of all, I'm just going to say I do apologize for the shitty quality. Usually these videos are a lot better. I don't know. But anyway, um, what did I say right at the start of this segment of the video? I'm not feeling it. And uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. That's That's not really impressive. That's just not impressive. Like... Look, I'm going to give my honest thoughts and just remember, don't take it the wrong way um, because I'm just one idiot playing this game and my opinion isn't really going to impact the game and whatsoever, but this is fucking can't fear your own world or light novel characters. These characters are supposed to be big, special. To me, I'm just seeing really, really, really fucking boring revamps of these characters. Um, now, first of all, it's not the characters. I've said before that the characters are neutral for me. It's just these versions of characters. I don't see anything special. I really don't. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the these versions of characters. I've got to keep saying these versions of characters because it's not characters. The versions of the characters. There's nothing wrong with them because they're all all three of them are strong attack damage characters. All three have the right soul traits. Oh, two of the three, sorry, have the right killer. Uh, Kisuke having no affiliation, I still find that one to be a bit mixed. Um, almost all three of them, I think, have 790 SP, almost. So there's nothing wrong with the characters. They just look fucking boring. It's as simple as that. They just look fucking boring. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just quite disappointed. I really am, like... And also, you also, also have to keep in mind that this also is mid-month. And I've said in the past that mid-month are usually sort of meh characters. But, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just, I just expect better from K-Lab when they make manga slash night level, light novel characters. Because these just, these just look really bad. Like, in my opinion. Remember, in my opinion. But. It's an easy pass. It's a very easy pass. And, um... I mean, this is a really bad start for this game for 2020. I mean, the only thing that's really impressed me in this game so far this year has actually been Lolly. Um, and yes, if for those that watched the uh, previous video, yeah, I did end up getting her. And I'm just like, how did I get her? I forgot to test play the characters. Um, so... The, the next day before the event drop, I woke up and I'm like, I'm going to do the event. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't test play the characters. So I test played Retsu. She was as I expected. There was nothing wrong with her. Uh, Riruka was a little bit disappointing. I still just find her third strong attack to be really bizarre. Um, and then when I got to Lolly, I'm like, I mean, Lolly, just looking at Lolly, her character design, the canon, her gameplay, she looked really fucking cool. But when I test, her, test played her in... 
test played her, yeah, in the game, I'm like, okay, she is really, really fucking cool. And because of that, she deserved, well, that banner deserved another multi, and I was fortunate enough to get Lolly on that multi, and that's how I got her. So, Caleb need to start making more characters like that. More like Lolly. Cool character design. Um, just cool everything. Like, Lolly wasn't desperately a character that I needed, as I said before. Her killer was no affiliation, which is not good. It's in the between. But what will make me summon for characters? If it has nothing to do with character, it has nothing to do with stats, it has nothing to do with gameplay, just looks really fucking cool. You can make a, a really fucking cool Tashiro. I hate Tashiro for people that don't know, but if you make a really cool one, perhaps I'll summon for him. It's as simple as that. I want to see more like that. I think I'm just... I think I'm just spouting bullshit now. I'm going off the wrong track. The point is, for the 500th time I'm going to say this, for Can't Fear Your Own World light novel characters, this is incredibly boring and disappointing. Um, I'm not sure how other people feel. I think I've had a few uh, people tweet me saying, these aren't that spectacular. These are just really uh, standard um, revamps, if you ask me, and I kind of agree, but like I said, I'm just one person, one fucking dumb fuck playing this game, my thoughts and opinions is not going to change the game and impact the game in any way or shape, so don't take what I say seriously, but let's move on, it's an easy pass. I'm just hoping that the mid-month will be fuck loads better than this, and i I honestly think it's probably going to be more Machine Society summons, but this time male characters in terms of White Day. Um, I think that's coming up. I really want some... Well, as much as I'd like to say I want some interesting male characters, Sejin, for instance, um, as I said before, it really comes down to gameplay and if they look cool. It's not about really stats. It's about the gameplay and how cool they look. So one of the three characters meets those requirements, then I'll be summoning. It's as simple as that. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to end the video. I'm I'm just I I'm, I'm salty about these characters. I really am. I'm just I'm very disappointed. This is probably probably I want to say it's the worst banner we've had this year. Um but I don't know. It's between this and the revamps of Eyes and Ichigo and Kenpachi are probably the worst I've seen this year so far. I mean, we're only into February, I understand that, but we've got a long way to go, but this is a really bad start for the game, if you ask me. Um, I'll shut up. Uh, I guess I'll see you for mid-month, probably. Um, when is that? Oh, yeah, we got the 29th of February this year. Interesting. Okay, so... Information maybe the 25th of 26th of February, so the, a, a video will probably drop on the 28th. So, uh, yeah, have fun with the game as always. Best of luck on your summons. If you're going for any of the three characters, hey, go for it. Like, if one of those characters they are your favorite character, go for it. That's my advice to you in this game. If you have a favorite character, you should be prioritizing going for your favorite character rather than an OP character, at least. At least I say that to veteran players, not new players. If you're a new player to this game, uh, get as many of new characters as you possibly can. Um, but yeah, I really want to see more people go for their favorite characters rather than um, strong OP characters. Because I've had a few... T I'm, I'm going to say this before I go. I've just had a, f a few people on Twitter saying, oh, look at what character I've got. Really cool. Only to then go a week or two weeks later, oh no, my favorite character is in a summon selection and I have no orbs. Whose fucking fault is that? It's not mine. You should have been saving your orbs for your favorite character in the first place. And that's why I have so much. That's why I have so many orbs. Um, but for the most part, there hasn't been really... Um, shut up, Tom Barry. Shut up. Just shut up and end the video already. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>